four years on a tribute to Chester Bennington. Hello everybody, it's Tom here from The Company Code, author, educator and public speaker. Today I'm going to discuss something that came up to the four year anniversary the other day and that is the untimely death of Chester Bennington, the lead singer of Linkin Park. He was much loved uh, father, husband, artist, actor, son. While I know him personally, and I can't speak as of any other familiarity than just an avid fan, I feel the need to pay tribute to this man, okay? What this only reveals is the torture that some of us go through and never can run, you know? And we're always of the opinion that someone who's rich, famous, has got it all. No. There are so many people out there who are rich and famous. In fact, pretty much all of them struggle with the same things that you and I do. We may put them on pedestals. We may hold them in God status. They're not God. The flesh and blood like you and me. They need love too. They need understanding. They need peace. He couldn't find peace. He had a rough upbringing and many, many demons that were never, ever confronted properly. And the death of another artist I respect a hell of a lot, that being Chris Cornell, really didn't help, you know. It just made matters even worse. You know, he couldn't handle it. And he couldn't handle those demons. They became too loud. And he felt trapped. And for a 41 year old man to feel that way, it's sad. But how many times are we, <coughs> excuse me, talking about a situation <coughs> where uh, someone appears all right, and then all of a sudden they, excuse me, <coughs> frogging my throat here, talking about a situation where someone appears okay, and then before you know it, they're not okay. And this happens, and it comes out of the blue, and it just hits us all in the face. And you're just like, damn, I wish I could have done something, I wish I could have said something. And you're just there, and you're just like, you feel numb. You know, I had a friend who used to play football with. A couple of Christmases ago. He decided to throw himself in front of a train. Again, father to four children, husband, really great man, really lovely bloke. And it was only like six aside football. And every time I scored a goal after I scored that goal, I dedicated that goal to him. Because he was there in spirit and it was always for him. All right. The point of this discussion today is don't let anything emotionally get to the point that he did with Chester Bennington don't let it be bottled up to the point where you one day explode yes you want to get to get better yes you've got to be brave enough to seek help it's not easy particularly for someone in the public eye like him who is who was idolized I used to love Lincoln Park as a kid I had many a wonderful night at a gig singing out my heart out to their lyrics. And the song, the last song they did, One More Light, why should one more light matter? One more light does matter. One more human life matters. Every human life matters. No matter who you are, no matter how old you are, what race you are, whether you're man, woman, transgender, does not matter. 
every human being matters. And we've all got problems, we've all got issues, we've all got demons we need to face, we've all got challenges in life, we've all got things that we think sometimes are there to destroy us and not there to make us better, to test us for a reason. Nothing that comes your way in life is sent to you to break you, it's sent to shape you. Okay? I'm doing well to hold it together because I remember my reaction when I heard that he died. I was close to crying, to be honest, because pure shock more than anything. This man, I really loved. And I know he's watching right now and I want to pay tribute to him and to his music and to the lives that he's touched, the people he's inspired to his beautiful wife and children who miss him dearly every day. You will not be forgotten and your influence will never die. There will be people look back in 30 years who will remember Linkin Park songs. They'll be kept alive. The lyrics touch us all. The stories do. Taken too soon. But it's a reminder to everybody that even those who appear to have it all have still got problems, have still got issues. And they too, they need help, they need support. Fame is difficult. But just being alive is sometimes. So, I'm going to end my video here, and this is a message of anybody that's been struggling. Talk if you need to, but understand that it takes time, and there's always a way out. Alright? I happily listen to anyone. I don't. I can't sit here and say I've got every solution to every problem. I don't. If you're needing someone to hear you out, I'll hear you out. Okay? That's what we all need to be sometimes for one another. There for each other when it matters. It doesn't always have to be the solution to all problems. It can just be someone that you can vent at who will not judge you. Who will hear you out. And that is all. And that is all I want even though I wasn't very well. And I got it, thankfully. But not everyone has that. Okay? Rest in peace, Chester. <laughs> thank you all for listening. This is my third and final video of the week. I want to say thank you all very much for your time and attention. Much appreciated. Down in the comment section below, male suicide, you, how do you feel we deal with it? Do you have any suggestions of what we could do more? Do you know anybody who has been affected by this? It's a horrible thing to talk about really, but I think we do really need to be bringing mental health more into the foreplay. In all levels, not just men, everybody. Particularly with the pandemic and the way things have been, more than ever now. Remember, remember to hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a thumbs up and a like. And let's hear that bell sign go ding dong so you know my next content's out. Until then, I want to say thank you all for listening as always. This is my third and final video of the week. I really appreciate your time and energy spent on my channel. I will be back start next week with a new lot of videos. Until then, look after yourselves, take care, and bye for now.